In this video, you'll see how to offer order bumps on MemberPress. Order bumps let you sell additional products to customers right at checkout, which can greatly increase your overall site revenue. With MemberPress, you can sell additional products and services on a registration page when a user is buying your membership or product. From there, they can easily choose to add those extra products to their purchase. With order bumps, you can sell memberships or single products like a course or ebook. So just as one example, let's say you're selling an online course or membership access to a number of courses. With order bumps, you can sell a related worksheet, ebook, another course, a pack of coaching sessions, or access to a community group or forum. So when someone's in the process of buying your course or course membership, the effect you're trying to achieve with order bumps is to make the customer say, heck, why not, and buy extra products. Since they're already committed to buying your course, they'll be more likely to buy additional products too. It's kind of like when a cashier asks if you want to add a protection plan or Apple Music subscription when you're at the register buying that new Apple Watch. So to get started, you'll need to install the MemberPress Order Bumps add-on. From the WordPress dashboard, go to MemberPress here on the left sidebar and Add-ons. Then find Order Bumps and click to install and activate the add-on. Once that's done, you're ready to add order bumps to a membership. So go to Member Press and Memberships. Then select a membership that you want to include an order bump on, or create a new membership. Here on my sample site, you can see I have a recurring monthly membership set up that gives access to online courses. This is the main membership on my site that I'm going to include the order bumps on. Also, I have memberships created to sell my order bump products. I have a membership for an ebook and another for a package of coaching sessions. Just remember that a membership is how things are sold with MemberPress, whether that's an actual site membership that gives access to exclusive content or a single product like an ebook. So, to sell a single digital product with MemberPress, you'd create a membership for it and set it up as a one time billing type. And you can see here my ebook is a one time type of membership. So, a user pays once and gets access to it for life. And the coaching sessions are a recurring type of membership that charges every month. So users get two sessions per month and are billed every month until they cancel. So I want to add my ebook membership and coaching membership as order bumps to my main site membership. So I'll go ahead and click to edit my main membership here. Then under membership options, click the order bumps tab. Next to order bumps heading, enter the text that you want to appear above the order bumps on the registration page or just leave this default text here. Or you can leave it blank too, but we do recommend having some text here. And then under order bumps, use this plus sign icon to add your order bump memberships. So I'll add my ebook membership, and then I'll add my coaching membership. And then I'll click update to save. So now I'll open my site in a new incognito window, so I'm not logged in as my site's admin user to show you how this works for a site visitor. For my homepage, someone will click sign up, and then they'll see my membership that they can purchase, which gives access to all my site's online courses. And when they click sign up here under the membership, they're taken to the registration page to buy it. And then here you can see my order bumps. And then when someone selects one, it adds it to the order, which you can see here, and it gives the new total. And I can add both order bumps, or just one. And just one thing to note, not all payment methods that you can use with MemberPress support order bumps. Check out our knowledge base page for an up-to-date list of which payment gateways can be used with order bumps. So say as this site visitor, I have the Stripe payment method selected, which does support order bumps. And then when I add an order bump, you can see my offline payment gateway disappears, which doesn't support order bumps. Now I'll deselect the order bump. And then let's say I choose to pay offline before selecting any order bumps. And then when I try to add an order bump now, I see this pop up telling me to switch to a supported payment method. So now as the test user, I'll choose to pay with Stripe and then select both of my order bumps. Then I'll fill out the registration form with some fake testing data and some test credit card information. And then when I sign up, I can see that the order went through. You can see the purchase of the main membership and my two order bumps. 
Now, as the test user account that I just created with the purchase, I'll go to the member account page. And then when I go to the subscriptions tab, I can see the three subscriptions the test user just purchased, the main membership and my two order bumps. And if I go to the payments tab, here are the three payments as well. So it lists all the products out as separate payments. And your members can download a PDF invoice of each if you're using the MemberPress PDF invoice add-on. Now, going back to the WordPress dashboard as my site admin user, if I go to MemberPress and Transactions, you can see the three transactions here for the test user. You can see what memberships they're for and what subscription they're affiliated with. And you can click a subscription here to view it. And back in Transactions, You'll notice that the individual order bump transactions have a special transaction number that are different than ones made through the gateway just as a plain order. And you can hover over them and get the transaction ID for the payment. And then click here to copy it. And then you could use it to search here. So if I paste it here and search, you can see the transactions that were made with the purchase. And that's it. You've now seen how to add order bumps in MemberPress. See our knowledge base for more information. And be sure to follow our blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks to take your MemberPress business to the next level. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.